Hello, I'm Kay DeMarco, and this is my friend Pen Display. A pen display is simply a type of touchscreen. It's distinctive from the other touchscreen options because it's just a monitor. It only works with a computer. A pen display is not necessarily better than the other options, but it does have some nice pros. One is that you can draw on any software that you use on your computer. So if you want students to see how to use something very specialized that doesn't have an iPad version and you want to annotate over it, this is a tool that would work. Another pro is that because a pen display is not a computer, it's the most affordable way to get a large surface area to work with. There's a 24 inch version of these that is still several hundred less than an iPad this size, which is 13 inches. Here are some faculty. Here are some faculty using a touch screen to screencast. You see a big contrast in temperatures between cooler air than we'll the north out and the warmer audio. air in the south. Um, this is an example of how it can be used to communicate ideas for which computer-generated text is not a good fit. In this case, though, the faculty member did not need to handwrite all this, but her students like it more than typed text. Handwriting tends to keep the pace of a class manageable for students. A light bore recording would be a step up from that visually, but um, when you're pressed for time, uh, the pen display is faster. You can make notes on an existing PowerPoint presentation. This is one of the most common applications I see. And of course, you can do whiteboard drawing. Here's Allowing audio gravity again. to move it through the system leads to a higher efficiency and an added bonus of minimizing failure points in the system. Okay, time for a live demonstration. I'm in PowerPoint, I go to the Draw tab, select a pen, and then you can start to write as you're talking about how high temperature favors high entropy. And you can underline things, circle things, and talk. All of the Microsoft Office applications have a drawing tab now. So I could be doing this right in Excel next to a table or a graph that I just showed students how to make. You can even do a basic whiteboard animation with just PowerPoint. So let's record this. On a Mac, one recording option is just Shift-Command-5. OK, students. When you see a line structure, you assume in your mind the, the carbons and the hydrogens. You know that carbon wants four bonds, so that tells you how many hydrogens to add. And therefore, you know by looking at this line structure that the molecular formula is going to be C one, two, H, one, two, three, four, five, six, and oxygen, one, a molecule also known as ethanol. Thank you so much for watching this. This particular pen display is available for faculty to borrow and try out. And on our website is information on all the different software combination options that uh, you can do, use to screencast and draw.